One of the most powerful and effective skills when building your network marketing business is learning to tell stories. Even though it's something so simple, people tend to have a hard time with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna help you create your story. I'm gonna give you five tips to help you do that, which is gonna help you grow your business faster than ever on this video coming up. Hey everyone, this is Darren Kidd, multiple seven figure earner, top leader in the network marketing profession, but it wasn't always like that. Matter of fact, my first few years were pretty terrible and I struggled, I was frustrated, I said I'll never do it again. Then I had the right mentors that came into my life that really turned everything around, helped me change my life. And now my passion is now bringing you weekly content to help shave years off your learning curve. And today we're gonna to talk about one of the highest paid skills, one of the simplest skills in network marketing, and that is learning to tell stories, especially your story. So I'm gonna give you five tips on how to do that. So in network marketing, one reason that we learn to tell stories is because it allows people to be able to relate to us. So the first tip is you wanna make sure you share your background. What do I mean by background? What do you do? Not every background. <laughs> I've had people that give me 10 or 15, but I'm gonna know what was your previous background uh, when you got started in network marketing? Are you a nurse, construction worker, stay at home mom? So, number one, very simple, you share your background. Hey, my name is Darren Kidd. My background is this. In network marketing, stories sell, facts tell. So you remember as a child, you went, to, you went to bed, right? And your parents told you bedtime stories. They didn't tell you bedtime facts. So, so many times we wanna learn the facts and just spew those to the prospects, and it's really not effective. You wanna share with them your background. So for example, before network marketing, I was in the furniture industry. Had nothing to do with network marketing. And I go, hey, well, you know, before network marketing, I was in the furniture industry. Okay, tip number two. Actually, I was recently at an event with one of my mentors, Eric Worre, at the GoPro event, and he really drove this point home and it made total sense to me. So number two is every great story has conflict or it has a little bit of pain because it allows them to relate to you, relate to me. So what you're doing is you're sharing what you did not like about your background. So for me, being in the furniture industry, and we had quotas. So what would happen was I remember every Sunday afternoon, I would start to get that sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach, knowing I had to start all over. And if I didn't go to work, I didn't get paid. And when I left, I had nothing to show for it. So I was looking for a way to create some residual income. I was looking for a way to have more time with my wife and my kids. So you may say, hey, look, I'm, I'm, you know, I was a construction worker and my body was breaking down and, and I was so exhausted every single day and I went to work when it was dark, I got home when it was dark. And I was looking for a way to get my life back. Maybe it was, hey, I love being a teacher. I'm passionate about teaching, but there was a cap on my income. And there was a lot of things that I wanted to do to give back and that wasn't gonna allow me to do that. So you're sharing what you did not like about your background and a little bit of pain. And that's a very important part of your story. Number three, after you shared what you didn't like about your background or your pain, you're sharing the solution. So that's why I joined the company that I'm with because I saw a solution to be able to work on a part-time basis and eventually build a full-time income to help get my life back, to have more time freedom, to be able to travel and do what I love to do. You know, So you're telling them the solution to the pain, the solution to the problem. And again, as you're sharing your story, they're relating to you more and more and they're starting to understand what you're sharing with them. Number four tip. Share with them how you feel about your future. It's pretty, pretty simple. Go, hey, look, now I'm really excited. I don't mind going to work every day because I know it's temporary. I know I have another plan. I'm working on my job full-time, but I'm working on my fortune part-time. Jim Rohn taught us that many years ago, right? And so just share with them why you're excited about your future. Very simple, but very effective. Okay, number five, last but not least, because this may sound so simple that you go, hey, look, I really don't need to practice that. Eric Worre gave us the challenge. Look, the next 30 days, go out and share your story a minimum of 100 times, a minimum. And so if you're sitting with someone right now watching the video, practice back and forth. I mean, it's very simple. Go, hey, look, my name, uh, well, you don't have to say your name because you know them, but you're sitting in front of them going, hey, look, my background was I was in the furniture industry. 
I didn't like the fact that every single week I had to start all over and I had no freedom and you know, no residual income and I had really I was not excited about my future. But let me tell you the solution. That's why I got into this company. And you know, and I'm excited about my future because I can work on my job during the day, I can work on my fortune part-time, and eventually I'm gonna be a stay-at-home dad. And so again, just practice that story over and over and over again. And what you'll do is you'll get it where you can say it in 60 seconds to two minutes. I mean, share it with the server at the restaurant, share it with the dry cleaner, share it with your friends, share, share it in line at Starbucks, and you're gonna get to the point to where you have it down at your little elevator you know, pitch. And, uh, and not only do you share it with prospects, but you're also sharing it with your team every interaction. So if you're speaking on a conference call, if you're speaking in front of a group in a living room, maybe doing a little training for your organization. So the more you sh share your story, the better off you're going to be and you're going to refine it and, uh, and you're going to get better over time. But stories make a big difference because a lot of times as well, think about this. Even if I'm talking to you and let's say that you're a single mom and I'm not a single mom, and so I'm sharing a story about a single mom on our team that got started. Because we do have a single mom on our team. I'm like, hey, she's a single mom. She had three daughters. She actually had a cleaning company, never done anything like this. She got involved. She plugged into the system. She started working part-time. After a year of working part-time and plugging into the system, she was able to replace her income. She was able to sell her cleaning company. Now she's a stay-at-home mom. She didn't have the hassle of 20 employees. And if you look at her Facebook, you can see she's traveling the world. She's with her kids during the day. She's taking them to school. She's picking them up. She's in Disney, Disney World. She's created a, a dream lifestyle for her family. So you can see how it makes a difference. So learn to be a master storyteller because we are highly paid storytellers and it's one of the best skills you can possibly learn. Question of the day. I'm going to help you get started on your story right now. Make sure to put in the comments below what was your background before network marketing or what is your background now while you're building your network marketing business. And I'm going to continue to bring you training content just like this. So make sure to subscribe to my channel because we're trying to put out about a video at least once a week. And if you have not had a chance to download my free ebook, go to succeedwithdarren.com forward slash three keys. I give you three key tips to really growing your network marketing business. We'll put it on the screen. We'll also put it in the link uh, in the description below. And uh, so look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for coming out. Take care.